Hi guys, Nancy here from Lumbicious. Today I want to show you guys um, some art. This is uh, an old Japanese art form called Suminagashi. Um, it, it means floating ink. So what do you need? Well, you need a tray filled with water, simply tap water. Uh, not all the way, but uh, a bottom, this is approximately an inch of water in the tray. You need uh, two Chinese brushes. This one is filled with ox gall, or you can use uh, some soap, but ox gall works the best. And it's um, a, a drip of ox gall mixed with a, uh, a drop of water, so it's not totally pure. Uh, what do you need more? Well, another brush filled with ink. This is Chinese ink. You need this ink, otherwise it will not float on the water. And I want to show you guys what you can do with this. Uh, at first I only wanted to do a video in Dutch, by the way. But I thought since I have a lot of um, subscribers that aren't Dutch, I will do a video in English too. So it's something totally different than my uh, Loom uh, videos. But this is so much fun, I wanted to, to share this with you guys. Um, I really love doing this. So um, you need to load up your uh, ink brush and your oxgall brush. Keep them both in, uh, in a hand, or you can do this with one hand, but you have to flip the brushes. I will use two hands to do this, to show you guys this. At first, we're going to dip the ink brush. You're only gonna touch uh, the top of the water with the tip of your brush, slightly, very gently. And see what's happening. There is some ink on the water floating. Now use your oxcall brush. There we go. And you can do this carefully. So you create a pattern in the water. You can keep it in long or short, it depends on what you like. And the ink will create a pattern on its own. I'm going to refill my ink brush and my ox gall brush. You can continue doing this until you're pleased with the design on the water. Because um, I am speaking right now, this will influence the ink. If you have uh, your window open, this will also influence what the ink is doing. But this is so cool! This is so fun to do. I really like this. I can do this all day, all day long. I noticed my brush doesn't have a nice tip anymore. So you need to really make this pointy. And now there's not enough ink. <laughs> so you need to kind of play around and figure out what works for you. I tried a lot of inks already and a lot of soaps, but this works the best. And I will show you what paper I use in a second. Well, let's say I'm happy with how this looks right now. It um, looks nice, by the way. You can actually blow or use a, a fan 
to uh, maneuver the ink over the water, but I'm gonna blow. Slightly, because the water will do the work for you. And it will kind of create a pattern. You can leave this, doesn't matter. You don't have to do this quickly, that's what I'm... I want to tell you guys. Well, I have my special paper here, this is inked yet paper. This white is the front and a little bit yellow is the back. Well, I'm going to print this. You need to put in this paper uh, smoothly so there isn't air trapped in between your paper and the water. See how this looks. So I'm going to print this now, so I'm going to try to do this in a smooth move. So let's see if this will work. I hope it does. It's kind of curling already on the edges. Let's see. Yes, it's already done. I have another tray of water. Uh, you guys can't see, it's below um, my desk here. I'm going to put this in there to rinse uh, some ink that might be still on top of this paper, but it won't be much. I will show you how this looks right now. And here you can see some blurry ink. I'm going to rinse that right now. So be right back. There we go. Yes, there we go. I'm going to put it in because the paper is wet. But now I rinse. Yeah, well, the ink is coming here, of course. But it's nice and white. Oh, how does this look? It's amazing. Awesome, and not one of the prints you will make, not one thing will be the same. This is so awesome, I love this, I love doing this. And it's it's simple, it's, it's fun to do. But you do need the right materials, so I will um, write down in the description below the video what materials you need. I tried so many things and I know this will work so I will put these um, down in the description below. It saves uh, you guys time, money to try other things. You can try of course if you want to but I'm sure this will work and I tried a lot of things. So if you like this video, uh, this Japanese art video, um, please thumbs up Oh, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already, so you keep up to date and um, you won't miss any video I post. I want to do some more art videos and I might even do them in Dutch and in English. Not sure, but well, I just wanted to show you guys this. And my hands are wet now. I didn't bring a towel. Oh, why didn't I do that? Yes, I'm back. I'm going to show you guys some more prints. I made some tiny, um, well, I framed them. So you can hang this on your wall and I think it's totally awesome. And none of them is the same. So we have this one, this is with a lot of oxygen, so there is a lot of white there. This is with less, so it's more black and this one uh, well this I, I blow on this one so it's also awesome and I have this one so none of these projects will ever be the same if you can make that happen then you are well a superhero so that's the reason I like this so much, because you can't do anything wrong and it still looks awesome. Well, this is almost like a, well, I, I don't know. I think it looks awesome. It's just, it's a nice form of art. It's relaxing and super fun to do and you can do this with 10 children on a table with small trays. Um, 
you just need ink and a brush. It doesn't have to be a Chinese brush. But because there is a lot of ink in this brush, it, it works the best for me. But you can also do this with a cheap brush. And you can also do this with uh, simply uh, dish soap you use. But this works better. So there are, you can try yourself, but I know this will work fine. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I will be doing more videos in the future. So I'm going to uh, lay this to dry somewhere. And if your print is dry, you can iron it between two other sheets of paper. So it will be straight again. So you will have a nice flat paper because it will kind of curl up on the sides, of course. But if it's dry, you can iron it and help uh, let your father or mother uh, help with that. Because I don't want you guys to burn your hands, of course. So ask your parents to help you iron the sheets of paper so they are flat. And yeah, maybe you will frame them too. So you can hang them on your room. In your room. Well, guys, um, have a great day. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.